On Friday, we reported that Metro Schools still has more than 170 classrooms without a permanent teacher. The district is struggling to recruit and retain teachers, many say because of poor pay and low morale. So what specifically can you do as mayor to ensure that MNPS can both recruit and retain the most effective teachers in our state? Mayor. Sure, so uh, that's a great question and it's one of the most uh, difficult and important questions in the city of Nashville. And uh, pay and morale are the two big issues that we have to confront. On the pay side, I have made a commitment. I have made a commitment to the teachers, to the students, to the parents in this city that we are gonna do a comprehensive pay plan. We are gonna get our teachers in line. We are gonna fund it no matter what. No matter what, we are gonna get that funded because that is a critical element to making sure that our, we can recruit and retain the teachers we need. Now, on the flip side, there is a fundamental morale problem in our district. And it is in part because of decisions made by the board. I'll give you one good example quickly. Uh, the board last year changed the discipline policy. That burdened our teachers immensely, but gave them no resources, zero resources, to confront this change in discipline policy. As mayor, I will make sure that when those changes happen, they're well planned and the resources are there so that our teachers do have the love of the job that they all started with each and every day they go to the, work, to job, to the job. Councilman. Well, I've really made a very radical promise in my 47-page platform going forward. Half of our new money needs to go to education. Only once by over-allocate, not, there's no possible over-allocation, but increasing our allocation to more than half of our new money to education, are you going to begin to redress the problem? You've got to fund a career ladder, not just starting pay, and you have to have career, you have to have parental involvement. And part of the mayor's office going forward is going to be going the extra mile to get parental involvement in all of our 160 schools. In the end, that's going to be a path for success. And I'm proud to say that I've been endorsed by the teachers union, who've studied this quite a bit in terms of who is the best choice for getting our teachers back where they should be in the classroom, all of the classrooms, and being retained and having a great career in metro schools. Mayor. Well, tonight, Councilman Cooper says that he's going to give half the new revenue to uh, teachers and schools. Before, he said he was going to give half of all revenue to teachers and schools. It's clear that this is just a gimmick. It's just a campaign pledge. It's just a slogan. It doesn't address the fundamental problem. It's just something he's saying to get elected. And what we have to do is make a commitment, no matter what it takes, to get our teachers to a level where they can afford to live in the city where they teach. Thank you. Continuing with education, Metro Schools announced last week that it gave a $5,000 bonus to some new teachers who agreed to work in the city's lowest performing schools. Would you support a similar benefit for all teachers that work in hard to staff schools and would you provide additional city funds to pay for it? Councilman. Oh, yes. The $5,000 bonus really, in the end, ended up being, I believe, just about $100,000, just with 21 teachers in those priority schools. But that is the kind of encouragement that we need to provide, not just one time, not as a bonus, but something that teachers can count on. And only by doing that are you going to repair the career ladder pay for our teachers. Teaching used to be a middle class profession, and we need to return it to being a middle class profession. We should be grateful that in our county here, we're going to be able to find the money to help supplement that pay from all the fabulous stuff that's going on in the county. And again, the people who are closest to this, the teachers union themselves, have endorsed me because they know what we can do together to begin to bring education back to where it has to be in Metro. It is the limiter of our growth. It is the key to our children having, being able to take advantage of the opportunities of this new great city. So I, I know that priority schools are a critical issue in our city. Uh, we have 21 priority schools here in the city of Nashville. And when I became mayor the last year, I started with a, a priority school task force, a kitchen cabinet. And I've spent time in many of our priority schools this year. And what you see there, what you see there is a couple of things. One, teachers overwhelmed, administrators overwhelmed, 
kids getting left behind. And that's because of a, a lot of reasons, but primarily a lack of resources. That is really key to dealing with this issue. And uh, what you see in our county right now, I'm, I'm, um, I don't like saying, but our schools have resegregated. And if you go to a, private, uh, to a priority school, you're most likely to see a school that is full of black and brown kids. I mean, that is what we are seeing in this city right now. If we want to fundamentally change that, teacher pay is part of it. Teacher pay is a significant part of it. The $5,000 a year is one of the things that uh, starts to make a difference, but it is just the start. Beyond the 21 priority schools, we have dozens of other schools that are right on the cusp of falling into that, to, to that category, being the lowest 5% in the state. I will fight every single day as mayor for each and every one of those kids who is getting left behind because they don't have the resources in a priority school. I promise you that. How to have great schools? Have great principals. Support the principals. Get the principals to have stable budget where they can retain great teachers. All that's going to require parental involvement. All of that will require more money and time. And it's going to be the duty of the mayor to recruit, commission, retain, to be the greatest cheerleader for our great men and women who are working every day to create a great school system. We need it. It is our path to success. And Community Achieves is another great program that we need to support. Thank you. Both of you have school-aged children, but neither of you chose to send your kids to Metro schools. So how do you convince other private school parents or people who do not have children that they need to invest in and support our public school system? Mayor? Well, every parent gets to make the best choice for their child. And I will never, ever look at a parent in the, in, in the eyes and say, you ought to wait. You ought to wait for us to have a better school system. Every parent has an obligation to take care of their children. Now, uh, I've been fighting for, for uh, young people in our town for 20 years. I was on the council for eight years and voted for two significant uh, tax increases to fund teachers. Uh, as mayor, I have spent uh, a ton of time, almost every week in, in a metro school, talking to teachers, to parents, and to families about what we can do to um, improve the quality of public education in Nashville. You know, Nashville has some things to be proud of when it comes to public education, and we shouldn't forget it. We shouldn't forget the fact that we have thousands of students who arrived from the border in the last couple of weeks from detention, many of them, who don't speak English, and it's our job to take care of them. And I am committed to making sure that I do that from my hometown. Councilman. Well, we don't need to. I don't think we have to encourage anyone that we need this. We don't have to persuade anybody in Nashville that, of course, we need this. Of course, all of us who care about this community know that we need this. Every city in the country knows that we need this. This is how you're successful in the 21st century. It's going to be skills of the population and workforce skills and getting our children ready, as I was saying earlier, to take advantage of the opportunities of the new city. And we're, we, just, we just have to go ahead and get on it and not be fooled into thinking that our greatness is not going to depend on the next generation taking its place. And that's going to require a great school system to do it. Every parent wants the same thing. And uh, again, to your question, how are we going to get parents involved, we already know what we need to do. We just need to get on with it. Okay. Mayor. Well, I, I, I think it's important to say um, that um, in this town right now, uh, our schools have resegregated. I said it before. I, I think Councilman Cooper ought to say it. He ought to acknowledge the fact that we, we have a new crisis in our city. It's not the same crisis we've had. This is new. For 20 years, we had integrated schools we no longer do. And we are frankly leaving behind way too many children as a result of it. And we have all got to put our shoulder to the wheel to see.